Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So this is a video about CCIP 3.1 new exam pattern and basically in this video I'll explain you about the new exam pattern, the syllabus and the types of questions which will be asked as per the new pattern. So basically this video is a confusion clearing video and the contents of this video is like uh, first I'll explain about the new exam pattern and the passing marks then I'll explain you about the new question formats and of course I'll show you some of the sample questions too then I'll explain you about the 5 and 10 years renewal program then I'll give you the answer of two most asked question first questions first question which is always being asked is is the new syllabus same or different and the second question which is uh, uh, you are asking is whether my existing or my old videos on CSWIP are still relevant or not means you whether you can watch my existing videos to clear CSWIP 3.1 new pattern exam or not so all these questions I'll answer in today's video let's start our video but before starting our today's video uh, I would request you to please join my channel and uh, you can you know help me financially by joining my channel so let's start our today's videos the new pattern see in new pattern there will be two theory papers first one will be theory part one and the second theory is theory part two and there will be one practical paper that is practical part one the, the theory part one will be having 80 multiple choice questions and time given will be two hours and in theory part two there will be 40 multiple choice questions and they will give you one hour and 30 min minutes to answer this question in practical part you will be given one hour and 30 minutes let's talk about this theory and practical parts a bit more de uh, in more detail so there will be 80 questions and time will be given is 120 minutes means if you analyze this uh, you know 80 questions uh, you will have 1.5 minutes for one question for each question to answer means this is the you know this is the trick means uh, the time which is given is quite less that is why it becomes difficult to clear this theory part one because you will be having 1.5 minutes only to answer one question see there will be you know many options for one question and if your concept is question clear then only you will be able to answer the questions quickly otherwise you will get trapped in the answers in the options because the options they provide is almost near means if you are if your concept is not clear then you will get confused within the options itself that is why i always focus on the concept building if your concept is okay then you will be able to answer very fast and very accurately there will be three formats in this question in theory part what it part one itself three types of question format will be there like first one is the leading second one is the drag and drop and third one is the add the missing words which is like fill in the blanks so there will be three formats of question for theory part one i'll explain about these formats in later in this video itself in my later slides and in theory part two you will be given 40 questions and time will be 90 minutes and if you will analyze this we will get to know that 2.25 minutes will be allotted for each question which is a bit you know uh, easy if you will compare theory part one and theory part two from my point of view part one is more tough as compared to part two because part two is something like review you have to review wps pqr and wq which they will provide which cc will provide you have to just review and if your concepts are clear then you can answer these questions very quickly it means 2.25 minutes is very much enough for one question so this is bit easy in my point of view theory part two and practical is relatively easy as compared to theory part one part one so these questions are also called as work pack questions the theory part two questions are called as work pack questions and basically this is revolved around wps pqr and wpq so they will give you some wps some pqr some wpq and they may give you some drawing also so you have to review those and you have to answer the questions now practical in practical they will give you 24 questions and time allotted will be 90 minutes 
it means 3.75 minutes will be given for each question which is not very tough means you have to just identify the defects and you have to answer the questions they will give some acceptance criteria and you have to look at the acceptance criteria and you have to say that whether that defect is accepted or rejected as per the uh, as per the criteria so eight segments will be provided now passing marks passing marks for each part is 70% means you have to get 70% in part 1 minimum minimum 70% in part 2 and a minimum of 70% in practical also so in each paper you need 70% if you will get 70% in all in each paper then you will be qualified now coming to the question pattern or question formats so as i told you earlier three formats will be there in theory part one. First one was leading so in leading there will be multiple choice questions two questions will be interrelated like here you can see question number one in question number one and the second question is question number one a means question number one and question number one a are interrelated this is the trick so like question will be the maximum hardness in HAZ of a steel will increase if so it is asking maximum hardness in HAZ in a steel will increase if and four para four you know answers are given so you have to choose one of this you know answer now the second question is with reference to the previous questions previous question means this question with reference to the previous question what else can also cause this condition which condition increase in the hardness in steel so this is how the leading questions will be asked one question and one supplementary question so question one and question a and both questions will be interrelated we'll take one more example of leading exam question number two all weld tensile test is used to measure the ultimate tensile strength is used to measure the elongation of the sample is used to measure the yield strength of the sample all of the above so basically in this video i am going to explain the formats only i will not explain the questions but for the time being let me explain you the answer also so tensile test is used to of course it is used to measure the ultimate tensile strength and it is used to measure the elongation also and it is used to measure the yield strength also so the answer will be all of the above now coming to the question 2a which is interrelated with question number two this question says that with reference to the previous question previous question means this question what is the uts means ultimate tensile strength of a material now it is asking See here the question was about tensile strength. Tensile strength is used to measure what? Now the second question is interrelated and it is asking what is UTS of a material? So this is how questions are asked. Now I will expect you to rewrite the answer of the question number 2a. I explained you about the question number 2. The, now question number 2a is your responsibility please write in the comment box what will be the correct answer means what is uts a b c or d please write the answer in the comment box now the second type or the second format of the question was drag and drop type question drag and drop type question so there may be one or more than one answer in this question like question is there what is the correct temperature range for PWHT? So it is asking the correct range for the for, uh, PWHT. Now options given, this is the option 1, this is the option 2, this is the option 3, this is the option 4, this is the option 5, this is the option 6. So almost 6 options are given. You have to choose the correct term answer either only one option will be correct or there is a chances that more than one answer also can be correct so you have to choose the correct answer or answers exam similarly a second question also like electrodes classified to aws 5.1 display the following in their designation again you'll see the answers uh, option number one is yield strength option number two is rm value option number three is welding position number three is charpy impact value number four is ctod value number five is proof of stress number six is flux type so these are the options given and you have to choose the correct answer or answers now this is the drag and drop type question format the third format was the fill in the blanks means add the missing word so in this one statement or one line will be given and 
a blank will be given and you have to fill that blank like here in this question annealing is done to there is a blank the material you have to choose the correct tensor like soft and hard and improve tensile strength improve toughness so you have to choose the correct answer and you have to fill this uh, uh, blank with that correct answer to make this statement correct the second option is on a carbon magnet steel but well changing from a stringer to weave technique will require more preheat less preheat more ampere a change in polarity so likewise you have to uh, you have to choose the correct answer and you have to fill the blanks so this is the fill in the blanks type questions so we have understood the question formats in theory part one now we'll understand the question format which will be there in work pack questions that is theory part two so in theory part two multiple choice questions and drawing training in drawing training inspection scenario will be there like we'll see this question on a wps 17 means they will provide a wps that is wps 17 and the question is what welding position is it qualified to so you have to refer that wps and you have to answer this question means that wps is qualified for which position now we'll see the second question second question is can wps 17 so again you have to refer the wps 17 which they will provide so can wps 17 be used on a 25 mm thick plate so again you have to review the wps 17 and in wps 17 you will have to go to the base metal thickness range and from there you will have to judge whether 25 mm thickness plate can be uh, uh, welded based on that wps or not so like this you have to answer the questions in work pack questions now we have understood theory part one questions the three formats then the theory part two question format now we'll move to practical questions in practical questions there will be three type of questions means they will give you a sample and first you will you will have to identify the imperfection so there are basically a conceptual difference between imperfection and defect see imperfection is any welding discontinuity or any flaw but if when that imperfection will exceed the code limit then that then in that case the imperfection will be called as defect means a defect will be rejected why because it always exceeds the code limit so any imperfection which will exceed the code limit will be called as defect and that defect will be rejected always so first on the sample you will have to identify the imperfections whatever imperfections are there you will have to write down all the imperfections then the second question second and third questions will be from the acceptance criteria so the acceptance criteria will be provided by the CSWIP or twi so the acceptance criteria will be like this first they will mention the defect type then they will mention the remarks then they will give the group a group b and group c so group a group b and group c are three criterias of the acceptance group a obviously uh, the more stringent and group c is more liberal now like suppose they will uh, give us a sample and on that sample there will be underfill they will ask first which imperfection is on the sample then you will write there will be underfill then they will write the ask the second question which imperfection are not act acceptable to category a so there is underfill and underfill is not permitted as per group a hence Hence, the underfill will be rejected. If there is underfill, then that is not accepted. And whether that underfill is accepted as per group C or not. So, in group C, up to 5 mm length underfill is accepted. Hence, you will have to check the length of that underfill. And if it is un if it is within the 5 mm limit, then that will be accepted. Accepted. And if it is exceeding 5 mm length, then that will be rejected as per category C. So likewise, this is the question format for practicals. So friends, now you have understood the question formats. Now, uh, what happens if suppose someone not qualifies in the exam, then he will have a chance to give a retest. Retest only on the parts of the examination where they did not succeed means suppose if you have not succeeded in part one then you will have to write only part one suppose if somebody has not qualified in practical then he will have to write only practical suppose if someone who has not qualified in the theory part two then he will have to write only theory part two retest 
only. So only the part which they have not qualified that they have to write in the retest. The retest shall be given after 30 days of the previous examination but within one year. So between 30 days to one year you will have to write the retest. And of suppose if somebody fails in the retest also then you will have to take the entire examination once again. So period of validity there will be uh, first you will have a uh, five years means after five years your certificate will expire. So you will have to write a five year uh, sorry not write just you have to give a proof of experience for the renewal. Then in the next five year that is that in the tenth year you will have to write a recertification exam. So for five year renewal program you will have to provide evidence of continuous work activity. Then uh, you will have to show that you are up to date with the welding technology and your visual acuity is okay. So they will give the uh, uh, renewal for uh, next five year. But in the tenth year you will have a examination. So you will have to write the exam to qualify for the next uh, five year renewal. Now the most asked question is the syllabus same or different. So friends the syllabus is more or less same means the theory part one syllabus is almost same but in part two they have additionally added the WPS PQR WQ review. So in addition to that you have you will have to study the WPS PQR and WPQ review that is same and the most asked question whether my existing or old videos of CSWIP are still relevant or not. So friends since there is no much changes in the syllabus hence my old videos are absolutely okay. You can watch those videos and prepare for the exam. I have focused on the concept building and since the, quest, uh, the questions are more or less focused on the concepts, hence my videos are absolutely relevant and you can watch my videos to prepare for the C-Sweep exam as per the new pattern. Finally, friends, I will give the disclaimer that I have collect, uh, I have made this video as per my expertise and experience and I have uh, taken the matter which uh, taken the study material uh, uh, which I have collected from my social, uh, you know, social media platforms. I have personally not taken this certification. So this is the disclaimer which I always give and I am giving in this video also. So friends, with this, I am going to end uh, our today's video. Hope you will uh, like our today's video. Thank you very much.